Dignitas. Not Virtus Dignitas. So we've got Neo with Smoke and Diffuse and Rubino with a Molotov and a Smoke. No P250s on the terrorist side. They'll be playing the numbers game. Moving in pairs for the most part with uh, Rubino keeping a passive eye around the main area. I think he's deployed a Smoke into A. Flank from Snack. The Bayali. They set a trap, a bear trap. Three man push through Ivy now with the bot. So where will the bots go? They could go for a gauntlet run into B. Maybe not the wisest decision as they are the last two men standing. One USP on these two players as they try to fight their way out. And he's taking a moment to throw a decoy, a USP decoy, a silenced pistol decoy. Has spotted. And again, w one job here for Virtus Pro is to just make sure that bomb is not rotating towards the B bomb site. And our Tentative the last man cannot get the fatal shot onto Bialy, and the pistol goes the way of Virtus Pro. Versus Pro, a, a team who can struggle in some online games. But I have to say, if you haven't seen them, their qualifying match versus Space Soldiers to make it into the league, that's one of the mo more enjoyable matches that I have seen recently. It was pretty damn awesome, best of three. Whether you're a Versus Pro fan or a Space Soldiers fan, it was Best of three or best of five? Oh, it was best of five, sorry, excuse me. And uh, yeah, that was really sick. Made me a fan of Space Soldiers, and I was already a fan of Versus Pro, quite obviously. Deagles and Kevlar for the Dignitas team. Don't always see the Kevlar with the Deagle, but sometimes it does make the difference. Jacob and Rubino have taken heavy damage already in this round. Two plays towards Ivy for the T side, and they will receive a warning grenade from the CTs. Three UMPs, the MP9 on to Pasha. Don't see the MP9 very often, all things considered. You feel like there's maybe one guy who'll pick it up per team. I wouldn't even go as far as to say that Pash is one of them, even though he's carrying one now. I haven't seen him with one before, but obviously we see the likes of Fur wielding the MP9. Again, uh, there was a nerf to the UMP yesterday in the damage drop off at 500 units. Crossfire here for the CTs of counter flashes, and that will yield them two kills. Life will be hard for Dignitas now. Jacob carrying the bomb on his own with all of 12 HP. There's one headshot for him, but that might just be cosmetic damage to Versus Pro in this round. Bomb is lost, leaving Tensky alone versus four. A quadrant. A quartet, rather. Not quadrant, a quartet. <laughs> a very, quartet. Di very different things. Yes. Very different things. A quartet of Polish players spanking that ass. <laughs> or should I say the thing? That probably makes more sense. He got told off for saying that once. Oh, that was spanking that, that ass. ESL Cologne, right? Yeah, I didn't like that. Yeah, well, you've got to do, you've got to do what you've got to do. Glocks, Glocks. Coming out for Dignitas. So we'll see what can be done in this particular round. Shouldn't be much. Our expectations are low. Our expectations are minimal. They're at the bottom. The first rung of the ladder. The rung is half broken. And the rung has been snapped. By time for Dignitas. It's a good start for VP. They got a lot of cash. And they can, it's always, it feels so nice when you have this round. It's like, nice. it's, it's, so, it's sort of like a throw away, throw away round, but not at the same time, because you have the UMPs and the MP9 carrying them over. You're taking the, the gamble that, okay, maybe we'll lose this round, but we have the money to do so. We can buy fully next round anyway, but if we win the rounds with these guns, we're going to make so much cash. So it's, it's really going to pay out, pay off. And you can play so aggressively, make moves like this happen with the MP9, and Bialy gets a frag as well. Unfortunately, Snax misses that orb shot. I think he's gonna hit that most of the time, and that would have put them in such a sick position. Still very doable for, v for VP, but as soon as Dignitas has get these ranges working in their favor, his AKs are gonna start to really yield uh, a lot of advantages. Rubino looking to add kill number, I think it was 36,586 to his AK. Tensky will uh, take Neo out of the game. There's a minute on the clock. Taz has just picked up a UMP. Not sure what he had going on before. So I saw a, him only carrying a pistol for a brief second. Maybe he was carrying something to another location. So we've got three T's spread, spread out across the map. Rubino close to the A site. And again, this is a position where 
Tenski's uh, location is really important because he's going to need to cover the IV position for the bomb to go down. Otherwise, it can only get planted at the back of the bomb train towards Pop Dog. But really, you the T's want to control that IV position, and Tenski's being taken down by Taz. So where do you plant the bomb now if you are Dignitas? That's the Pop Dog position. It's the only other place that they can plant the bomb. But Rubino's got cover of Pop Dog. So down goes the bomb, but there's a flank. Bali coming in from the back. Rubino, will you get that? Uh, will you become a clairvoyant? Will you understand what's happening right now before it happens? Is there any level of intuition that can allow you to understand that? Because this could be devastating otherwise. Kremlin, on the other hand, is uh, sitting on the bomb train. Doesn't have so much to worry about as... Oh, it looks like Rubino's actually moved out of the position. In comes Bialy through the smoke, looking for the double. Chroman knows what he where he is now. The smoke and the HE to perhaps pressure the situation. Still has a flashbang as well, opting not to use any further grenades. But the bomb is about to detonate, and there's no time for Bialy. He's just going to get out of dodge, steal away an AW. Oh, we can't actually get the AWP away. So that's very unfortunate for him. Chroman survives, though. He's a survivor, and Dignitas will win the rounds. But again, as we mentioned, VP with loads of cash still. You muted Yanko. I think production muted him. Oh, <laughs> hilarious! Oh wow, him. wow! He was actually production. <laughs> <laughs> your, your request. Get ready, get ready. That was your request. No, 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 James. Okay, now you can talk. No, 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 James. I was going to say it's, it's too late to talk now anyway because it's buy time. It's a buy round. Okay, sorry, James. Lots of huddle around the pop dog area. It's quite a scene. What are you doing? What are you doing, sir? What are you doing? Dignitas has looking for a push, but there is no push. Fox, Jacob, Rubino, Tensky, Kroman. The permanent roster for a uh, Dignitas team who started turbulently. Look at that angle from Neo to the upper position. Don't do that every day. Tagging through the legs, but he's been smoked off. Jacob with the smoke on the high ground. Neo and Taz, though, they're delivering. The bomb is in absolute no man's land. Taz is running out of bullets, however, but he's still delivering kills. And just like that, the round is brief. The round is over. That's, that is absolutely perfect. It's one of the two uh, amazing eventualities of, uh, into the fourth round that VP were looking at. Again, like either they were able to win the round with the MP9s and so on, or they lose it, they buy up, and they reset their opponents, which is almost as good, to be honest, in many respects. We can see that Dignitas will be fashioning a bunch of deagles with Kevlar's and Fox on these scouts. So they'll have to be, they'll have to exhibit some level of care when they're approaching this round against Dignitas, but they should be able to take it. Oh, but that combo, the though. Combo. The combo. It's a Street Fighter combo. EX moves from Dignitas. Wouldn't it be like more like Marvel, like tagging someone in? I suppose so. Marvel. Marvel, DVS2. Marvel. Looking forward to the new Marvel game. I can never watch Marvel. It's always too much too much chaos. Too much chaos. Chaos is awesome. I can't uh, see what's happening. And neither can VP. They're getting wrecked by the Deagles. This is bad. This, this is bad if you're VP. How do they save this situation? Dignitas still need to close out the round though. And again, we identified the, uh, as far as A is concerned, we had identified the importance of the CTs holding that IV area to limits where the bomb can be planted. It's a big problem for the Ts. And that might be why the Ts appear to be moving towards the B bomb site, or part of the reason. I mean, Rubino is towards Ivy, but again, he's just got a deagle. So despite the two man advantage, they need to capitalize on that as best as they can. And uh, that might be the B bomb site. But again, things can go wrong no matter where they are headed. Seems Rubino is perhaps looking to throw a fake. I mean, maybe he picks up a rifle on the way. Neo doesn't get a face shot on the first person, but he runs away and then essentially baits Croman. So that's collapsing. Bomb going back to the A bomb site. And the rotation's paid off because it, there's no one towards Ivy now to stop the bomb from getting planted. But Neo is on the site. Fox with such. He's got four health, and there are seven seconds left. And he's just walking. Oh man, that's fallen apart for them. And they should win by timeout versus Pro. So that was a quite interesting round for me, uh, which unfortunately didn't work out for Dignitas. That was just madness all over the place. Dignitas taking a, a little bit too much time. 
um, after they, they got those picks and uh, VP made the right gamble saying two players towards the B bomb site and great uh, play in the end from Neo realizing the situation he was in just sacrificing his life to deny the plan knowing that there would not be enough time for the Ignitus players and now Taz an aggressive push towards B finds an opening kill and the Ali and Pasha likewise towards Ivy find two kills of their own and just like that take him is the last player alive with a deagle. That's a bad miss. Seems like they forced yet again. Dignitas. Yeah, that that, that was a, a force by because of the fact VP only had one player left alive in the previous round. They decided to risk it. For a biscuit. For a brisket. Risk it for a brisket. We are in America. If we were in Texas, that would be perfect. I'll be in Texas. Risk it for soon a brisket. Enough, and I'll risk it for a brisket, James. No, and I'll tell you how it works. Thing now. You have to do it on easier. But you should risk it for a brisket. Theoretically yeah. speaking. Yeah, yeah. We could even tell you where to go. There's like, we went to this place, right? This restaurant where they just give you chunks of brisket by the ounce, or is it pound chunks or whatever? Chunks of brisket. Chunks of brisket in a, in a bag, like you get fish and chips. Well, I know who ordered that. And you just, um, you just sit on the table, open it up. On the table? Eat it. Or at the table. You sit at the table, not on the table. So just open the paper. There's just grease all over the place. Sounds it's very delicious. It's very basic. Sounds like a heart attack. Yeah, it definitely is. I was recommended uh, Fat Max with Jack by Jason Lake. Never went there. But anyway, we've got two <laughs> Deagle from uh, Jacob. That's put Dignitas in a spot to double their score. AWP collected as well. He's got all his health. Penske doing the best he can. But it's Jacob carrying the bomb with the AWP, but uh, once he takes one kill, his position is known, he's got no Kevlar, that does not bode well for a man like Jacob. These rounds are going fast. I think there's like a minute 10 left in another round when there's three players on the server alive, and that's not going to be the case for too long. Seven to one, VP storming ahead. So what did you, why did you mention that recommendation you had if you've never been there? Because I think the place we went to wasn't the best. True. So I thought right. I'd pass on a recommendation from a friend, which might turn out yeah. better. Fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. I think Yanka's going to a different part of Texas. Is it not Dallas? He's going to Austin, aren't he? Isn't it? No, Dallas. Dallas. Oh, you're going to Dallas, not Yeah, Austin was happened already, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Always confusing that. All the Texas trips. You've got to go and see the Cowboys. I, I would like to one day. Not uh, the Dallas Cowboys, but uh, just Cowboys. Oh, I saw them. Oh, okay. I haven't seen them yet. I'd like to see Yanko. I'd like to talk to them as if they're an endangered species. <laughs> what game is the Dallas Cowboys? Is that NFL or something? NFL. It's the NFL game. I don't know about these American sports, man. NFL is the greatest sport ever. I was saying that you didn't say that. And then hockey. Hockey's cool. I'm kidding, basketball's first, and everything else. We have a walk here into the alley area by three Dignitas members. Pasha is on the other side of the smoke, and that's where he will die. Stacks looking to try to get some damage in here. That could be a brilliant grenade. Oh, that's good. It's pretty good. Nice bit of damage to three players as he holds the angle and has just enough space if he takes a shot to pull up the knife and get himself back to safety potentially. And in fact, the flash comes around the corner. That's perfectly done. But the bomb! Biali is not only the bomb, he's found the bomb. And that's a four versus four, 35 seconds to go. And almost all the entire Dimitar's team need to cross all of the A yard to get back to that position. What is this? <laughs> what are they doing? Are they all just boosting up? That's brilliant. But Bialy is still able to take down JKM and they still have the bomb. No grenades left for the versus pro side. Bialy's needs to stand his ground. Surely he will hear the march of the team players. He's got the advantage there. Lovely shot straight into the head of Kramen. And they left him to go and get the bomb on his own. He failed as well. So now there are 13 seconds. Man disadvantage. They're in the middle of AR Dignitas. And they seem a bit lost and not sure what to do. Fox alone saving the AWP. If he spots Taz here, does he even go for the shot? It's weird because if Taz was to come out, I do wonder if they would show up on each other's radar with this kind of acute angle. That was a sick round from Bialy, by the way. Really sick round from Bialy. Four kills. Basically wins the round for his team, both taking the bomb down as well. And I wonder if I wonder how much of that push that he m he did there from t around team main was because they realized how many players were coming down alley, and then he has a likelihood of getting a one v one there. 
sometimes, as you said previously, being aggressive, uh, uh, aggression is the best defensive option. Attack is the best. There we go. That's the best. Man it's Manchester United. <laughs> that's the phrase. Score more goals than you concede. And it's the referee. Eight to one. Versus Pro on the back foot, but as you can see, Dinatas is struggling. They've got uh, they've got three smokes. They've got no flashbangs whatsoever. They can't really force versus Pro off their angles. Just like in the previous round, you you saw Snacks was forced off his angle by a flashbang. But they don't have any utility to do that. So life will be difficult for Dignitas. It is going to be run and gun at some point in this round for the Dignitas side. Another international team. Two smokes, no flashes. A different setup from Virtus Pro. We've got Bialy down by Ali Hayes. Uh, losing his teammates though. Oh, he gets both and then once again finds himself the bomb. And with Taz still alive, uh, wrapping around from inner in through Pop Dog, there is a realistic opportunity that they can hold on to this. A great smoke there too to try to make life really difficult for the T's. Once that smoke clears, then they won't have too much time left to actually get the bomb and plant it, especially if Bialy gets another kill here. And they have to worry about Taz, who's made his way all the way to T main now. So. There are just so many problems here. I think maybe the barrel could have potentially be spotted there, but no, I think Fox actually saw it, has no idea where Bialy exactly is, and Taz might be able to attack from an angle which might find the bomb. No, it looks like it will be a safe plant towards Connector. Oh, that needed to be a pick off there for Taz. Let's see if that missed opportunity bites him in the backside. Bali should hear the rotation coming in. Fox falling out of the ladder, probably by accident, but that leaves Jake him in a horrible spot. He's got an angle on the bomb. That's another 4K in another round <laughs> from Fiali. I think he's got 20 kills. He's got 20, he's got 20 <laughs> kills, James. He is 20 in 10 rounds. Uh, you've got to love versus pro. I think Dignitas, their coordination isn't really on point yet uh, on train on the T side. But see how before uh, in gun rounds, they would just take too much time and uh, too much time to, to basically go for that, execute to set up and uh, VP was on point with their holds, with the use of utility. Now, they speed things up a little bit. They, they go sooner, but they have to push through a smoke in Ivy and they lose the bomb. Rush A is play from the Dignitas team. Press a three on two now, because it's Snacks' turn to start racking up the kills. Two for him, two remain. Can he get himself a 4K? Kroman looking for him. That is a fast shot from Kroman. So there's still a chance for Dignitas. Bomb needs to be collected. Jacob oh looking God. for it, pretty close. Pasha taken down now. Kremen with two kills of his own. Taz hasn't had much action because almost every round is going. I think every round, in fact, is going to the A yard. And he won't get much action this time either, it would seem. Kremen finding the side of his head. And How does Pasha not get that kill? It's crazy, right? That was the kill that made the round basically in the end. It happens, Janko. Human error. So we're not. Uh, Always able to form. And sometimes it is an inopportune moment such as that. He's CZ onto Pasha. That's his punishment, Yanko. That's his punishment. I didn't no. even see what happened. I think that was the right And it actually seems like VP switched their positions on CT side yet again. As you see them. Okay, never mind. I'm just completely baffled by. I think it was just deciding to rush lower after getting that one kill. So what I was going to say is they switch positions again. Pasha is back in Ivy. Neo is back as the rotator towards inner. That's uh, when a while back they switched positions for Neo and Pasha. So Neo was playing Ivy and Pasha was rotating towards B because Pasha was struggling a lot to hold Ivy and it was creating all sorts of problems for VP. But now they've sent him back there, so not sure if it was Neo like not being able to handle it anymore himself or was it just him doing a better job at helping out Taz? We'll have to wait and see, but that's a, a little switch up switch up in VP's defense. Well, still, though, those are rounds to try to accumulate for Dignitas. I mean, they can only get a remaining possible three. And they should be able to get at least one more. They have only just pistols to deal with. 
and they had a quite a fast pace in the last round. That should work out pretty well for them. Um, if they had to do the same thing, and this time they do indeed get the pace on quickly outside. And I think I think it's difficult for the Intas as well, just because, of course, there's so, there's so many maps. They're not going to have the deepest map pool at this point, being a new team, just reconstructing things, adding structure to you know, seven maps, and uh, you know two different sides per map. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It takes time. What kind of restructuring is it? Though? Is it like when the guy in Robocop gets blasted by pistols, and then they, you know? They turn him into Robocop. He's like fully wrecked, and then making Robocop slowly but surely. I guess it, I guess it depends how you felt it was for Doom Tass after they lost Michael Ole then, and uh, Peter were they fully wrecked? <coughs> well, they hadn't even played a match, so I don't know. I don't know at what point you can become certifiably certifiably fully wrecked <laughs> if you haven't played uh, if you haven't played a, an official and you've kicked the founder of your team. That's it like that's like when you're at the start line. The light goes green and your engine just explodes <laughs> immediately <laughs> and you start rolling backwards. Oh dear. I guess the only thing that's like really been getting wrecked at the moment is an IP really, I suppose. I mean they they've had not had any good results recently um, in the offline world. Been having some struggles. I think Godson haven't been having a particularly great time either. But there we go. And neither has Vertus Pro. But today, they're looking good. That said, though, that said, Dignitas, they can get six rounds out of this half. And the way it started, you, that's something that might be easy to forget. Vertus Pro, again, going on the attack. Max has only got four bullets in the uh, magazine, but he's standing his ground. I think maybe it was time to... Uh, Jump ship. Magazine clip. Someone's going to tweet me about it. I think it's clip. I'm pretty sure it's clip. It is interesting, though, because he has a choice. Obviously, he has time to throw a flashbang. And he's, he, I imagine he knows he has four bullets. Actually, hang on a moment. We've got a push here. And Viali wins it. That's an important push, actually, to take uh, forward map control away. But yeah, he has an opportunity to go back off the, after the flash, pop flash, through the smoke. But maybe he doesn't think that he actually will escape that situation. Maybe he thinks he'll get either sprayed down or grenaded down. So he's committed. Perhaps. But uh, look at all these 1v1s here. Just fo slightly forward position there from Taz. And another 1v1 is won by BP, putting them in now into an advantage. Three versus two. So BP looking great in this round to score 10. Taz's angle. I do wonder about it. From this, from this position. Uh, okay, there we go. He'll have an advantage. But he won't get the kill. But he's got information for his team. And uh, it's a double flank coming in from the CTs. I'm not sure if this will be expected. Fox repositioning. He's good for it. 6 HP rotating to upper, but Neo's going very slowly. Not in position to punish. But I'm sure he can get a flank. Right then, one versus one. Kremen with 29 HP repositioning onto the bomb train. Nice grenade, mostly avoided by Neo, flying in for a peek, and then the ladder will be enough for him to avoid the engagement. He'll take the one he wants and take the second last round of the first half. 10 for VP. They are looking very solid at the moment. It's been exciting to watch Bialy just having a great game. He has not had too much uh, impact in the last few rounds, three or four, I would say. Uh, as far as you know, the fragging goes, he's only hit managed to get like two kills in the last uh, four rounds or five rounds. But now he has a UMP. Will this be that he's going to take more risks? Pasha on the Mag 7. You never know with VP. You know, if they're just going to decide to get really crazy aggressive or what they'll try to do. Very fast push for Dignitas into winner. Actually, speaking of aggression. Spray comes in. That's some good damage actually from Taz. Needs to get some kills though. As they run across, he's not able to do so, but his teammates will. Frag for Piali, frag for Neo. And there are problems here for Dignitas. House. They have the bomb planted at least though. There goes Fox. Again, the flanks coming in from uh, Biali, but that's taken down quickly. And there's Kroman versus two. Good play for a team spotted one of them. Needs to find out where the other one is. Great angle, but down to 19 HP. Snacks with a flash, but no HP grenade. Which might be a match winning grenade there. Snacks is still quite far away, all things considered. He doesn't have a kit either. And uh, a lot of time is being spent trying to find where Kroman is. But even if he finds him soon, how is he going to have time to defuse the bomb? 
I was wondering if he was, <laughs> if he was actually going to get a kill there. That might have been ugly. But there it is. Snacks taken down. He had $2,000 in the bank as well. There was money for the kit. That's a shame. You hate to see it. That's a damn shame. As Yanko would say. You hate, hate to see it, Dan. But you know what it. you love to see? Bialy. 150 ADR. 70% headshot rate. 23 kills. Just having a field day on that outer bomb site. As you mentioned earlier, that was where most of the action was happening. And... He was delivering for his team. I like this, all the utility. It's nice, it's good. Oh, Fox already popping off with a quick kill there. The return frags are due though. BP with two of their own, they'll take that trade every day. And they are almost on the bomb train now. Not even really using their grenades at all. In fact, just running at the Dignitas third players and jumping. Apparently. And it's working. They're all dead apart from Tenski. One versus four. Always doable in the pistol rounds. He was he's immediately dinked, isn't he? Imme <laughs> immediately dinked. That's not a, a good sight. Four HP in the dream. Snacks gets a free smoke grenade. Did they throw the smoke grenade at the end of the round there? Did they yeah. did they not use any of their grenades and then throw them at the end of the round when everyone's dead? What is this? Oops. More than indeed, the UMPs. I think it'll take some time to uh, find out how they feel now at that 500 unit nerf spot. But still, I think there's a bit more to be done, mainly on the pull uh, zone of that weapon. And again, Dignitas charging, causing Bedlam. And I think, I think they're playing to their strengths in the rushes they were doing on the T side because, again, stylistically and where they're at as a team at the moment, I think it's a uh, Strong map for Virtus Pro, and uh, I do think that was demonstrated by BP in the early stages of the first half. But of course, this is a fourth buy, so uh, yeah, the, the CT side, you, you do wonder. I mean, obviously, it has its own advantages, but can Dignitas play to those advantages as a team? They don't have the, the spells of the, of the rushes. I do expect some aggression from them on their buy rounds, like IV pushes and so on, but again, I think it's uh, they can easily fall into the trap of making mistakes versus a better prepared team and that could lead to their downfall once the buy round starts coming for now though it's the uh the usp round with the odd p250 and i lost very long Tesky almost dying in the same place as the pistol round this gets dangerous to dig i wonder if bp will just try to push enough because of the nature of the fact that they have umps I guess, that, I mean, you can't always go out, so they have two AKs and they can maybe try to play you know, alley with some of the UMP players. And that, that can be a, a good way for this to work, but at the same time, I think... They can also play the outer bomb site. I mean, a, a full-on execute, just use UMPs instead of the Tech 9s as you would in, in a half by situation. Try to push through those smokes, get some close range duels, um, and, and the AKs can keep their distance, so... We'll see what they decide to go for in the end. Also, the utility on Dignitas is limited, so they can just wait it out a little bit. But they don't have any more presence in Ivy. This looks like a full-on interactive one. Merge Pro. Got a smoke on the high ground to emerge to cause problems, to limit where the CT can stand on the train. Pushing through the smoke, the trade will go in the, the favor of the T's in this situation, and they'll get some upgrades. But Tensky is close, but he can't get a single kill. There are two players that are shooting between them. And that leaves Chromium on his own, almost a complete wipeout. Only one player taken down for versus Pro. That is quite the statement there. Well played uh, from VP that round, but also that position wa from Tensky was actually really good. He played it really well. Unfortunately, he missed his uh, prey completely. He could have gotten both kills there and, and maybe uh, stopped VP from getting the 14th round, but was not meant to be and Dignitas not willing to concede the match point to Virtus Pro. They go to a force bio themselves, two scouts, three UMPs. What's in those bottles? Is it hand gel? Is it... What else do you have in those bottles? Is it lotion? Is it body lotion? It looks like hand gel, maybe, maybe scented. Liquid, so liquid soap? Like grass. 
Perhaps or like a weak grass. Keyboard lubrication. I don't think it's keyboard lubrication. Okay. Ooh. Fox went for a stroll, and he has been eliminated. Should we get some li keyboard lube and put it on the shelf? No, we should not do that. Please continue, that. Sorry. Sounds like you really want to, though. No. Sounds like you've had experience with it. No. Definitely yes. <laughs> That's a yes. Okay, it's the execution of the set piece, or the set smokes at least, has initiated. And looking for Dignitas to throw away their remaining utility and move a little bit, just a bit of a delay before the push comes in. And it's working out pretty well, I think, for VP. It's a nice play from Jaken to get himself into the four position in team main, but success is had everywhere else for the VP side on their aggression. And that'll be 15 rounds for them. Just taking it slow, taking it easy. This is much more like the VP, you know, you know slow, methodical, just uh, poking you out basically and there's nothing you can do about it. It's what you would expect from VP generally. Unfortunately, nothing online games recently at least. Their performance has not been up to par. Even on live tournaments, Katowice and Kiev not making it out of the group stages, but now they decide to switch things up with an outer rush. They fall two for one. Early on. Two for two. Early on. <laughs> Indeed, it's uh, an opportunity for a dim task to survive. Three for two. To make something Early happen on. here, but it's looking pretty grim. Bialy, Taz, and Snacks. They have the bomb. They're moving it closer and closer to that bomb train. Nice play coming out there from Ali two. from Fox. Early on. And the CZ is going to pay off, pay off for now, but hopefully he can get upgrades to that scout. Should be upgrades available. As the bomb is now planted, VP looking pretty good in this position. Taz with another frag onto Fox. Is this the end, Yanko? This is the end, Dan. All Put right. a fork in it because Dignitas is done. 16 5 men for VP on DE train. VP is back. Hashtag VP is back. They back. Tensky doing what he can. But there's no time, and he will be fragged. Patience, methodical play, patient and methodical play from Virtus Pro.